everyone welcome back to my channel my name is phyllis and here on my channel i share diys home decor goodwill thrift hauls and more and if this is your first time stopping by thank you and please consider subscribing if you like what you see give it a thumbs up and i would love to read your comments and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family in today's video i am participating in a monthly challenge that is hosted by Yami, the Latino next door, and it's called the Look for Less Challenge. She does this challenge each month, and she also has a different co-host each month. Her co-host for the month of September is Corey of Desert DIY. These ladies' channel is amazing. She asked that if you're participating to create a high-end home decor piece on a budget that you might see in a high-end store, and then share your completed creation in a side-by-side -side with the high-end decor piece. I will leave the link to Yami and Corey's channel link along with the playlist to all the other participants in the description box below. If you're interested in seeing what I put together for less, then just keep watching. I went online and I saw some beautiful bowls focusing on the white bowls, of course, with the gold accents. This bowl was beautiful, $168. I was going to recreate this one, but then when I found a plastic bowl that my daughter had, I decided I would just try and recreate this one, which is $55. Mine's, um, the bottom is just a little higher, but again, this is just my recreation. So to see how I put this together, this is what I used. This glass bowl I got from the thrift store earlier this year and it's very heavy. I loved the lip of this glass bowl because it will allow me to put the gold etching around it and to not get any spray paint I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum white gloss spray paint to paint the inside of the bowl but I'm covering the outside with this plastic saran wrap so the overspray will not get on the outside because I love the gloss look when glass is painted from the inside. I love what the outside looks like. So I took it in my daughter's backyard and I sprayed the entire inside, including the lip part of the bowl. Now this is the plastic white bowl she had. I, it was already white, but I sprayed it using the same spray paint that I used on the glass bowl because I wanted it to be the same tone in white. So I sprayed only the outside of the bowl. And again, this is a plastic bowl. And the big bowl is a glass bowl. So I just spray all around it. And I actually brought it on the inside. It's on the inside of my daughter's patio. So this green that looks like grass, it's fake. So I brought it on the inside. Well, while I was sitting there, I had a little visitor. So you'll hear my response. Wait for it. So I just knew if I left these bowls out here, something told me a doggone freaking lizard was going to get them. And this little thing is still alive. And it's stuck. Look at him. Look at him. I'm trying to move. Oh! Get off my bowl. Get off my bowl. Get off my bowl. Ugh. And look, messed up the bowl too. Ugh. I hate lizards with a passion. OMG. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to use my bowl. Ugh. Move, you. Move, 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 move. Ugh. Oh, I hate you. Oh, my gosh. You're freaking stuck. I see his tail came off. Ugh. You're going to have to... Seriously? Seriously? Ooh. Let me get. You know what? Let me move this bowl too. 
Because if he gets on this boat, I will be mad. And I cannot believe he's still alive. Look at you. Really? You a bold little move. 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 Where'd you go? I just don't know where he went. I don't even want his tail on my boat. Are you kidding? There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Get away. Jeez. Piece of his tail still stuck. So I just gave it another coat of white spray, um, white spray paint to cover up all the dinging that I was doing when I was trying to get the lizard off of the bowl. And here's the white one up here. I'm going to take them on the inside. And once they dried, I took the wrapper, um, saran wrap off of the big bowl. And I just love the way the glass looks when you spray on the inside of glass. I just love the um, shiny and glossiness of it. And here I'm showing you what look on the outside. Again, I sprayed on the inside of the bowl and the lip part. And I will be taking this gold liquid paint I purchased from Amazon. I've had this for a while. And I'll be covering the edges of the big bowl and the little bowl. So this is the paint that I purchased from Amazon. And because I didn't have any brushes or any paint supplies, I just cut a piece of a sponge and I'm dipping it in the jar. And I'll just be going around the edges. My intent would just was just to go around the outside edge only, but because I couldn't keep my hand steady, it kept going on the top. I just ended up covering the edge and just the flat top of the bowl the lip part of the bowl again I wanted it to be just the edge just like the um, high-end bowl but I couldn't keep my hand steady enough to just stay on the outer edge so I ended up just going on the outer edge and the top of the bowl but it still looked good I liked the way the end results looked Now I'm covering the outer edge of the little bowl. I tried doing the same thing, just covering the edge and I kept going beyond the rim. That's it, the rim of the bowl. So I just ended up covering the edge, the rim, and uh, just a little bit around the base of the top of the bowl. And I'm painting again the outside of the bowl. And here the white paint kept coming through and I'm guessing this because the bowl is plastic and not glass. But I dabbed some more paint on it um, to kind of cover up and I kind of like the way it just came through. Now here I'm putting the um, fix all glue that I purchased from the Dollar Tree on the bottom of the little bowl. And I'll be putting it in the center of the bottom of the big bowl and then I'll turn it upside down uh, right side up actually and sit it on top of a vase and I'll let it sit there until it dries and then you'll see me style it out on the table And here it is, all finished. I really like the way this came out. Now this is the bottom of this bowl is a little bigger than the um, inspiration bowl that I copied or somewhat used as inspiration to copy. But I love the way it came out. And I do like that the bottom rim kind of looks like it peeled off. Now here's the side by side. 
again the inspiration high-end dupe is $55 mine's cost me nothing because the glass bowl I said I got it from Goodwill earlier this year and the plastic bowl my daughter had. But if you want to recreate this, you can easily go to the Dollar Tree and find this plastic bowl, the little white plastic bowl, and they have glass bowls there as well. So this is my version of the high-end dupe of the bowl that I found online for $55. And again, mine's cost me nothing because I already had the bowls. I really enjoyed participating in this look for less challenge and I want to thank you all for stopping by Thank you so much for watching JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.